it going, guys? So, if you guys didn't know, the person behind the screen filming most of the, the scenes you guys have seen on YouTube is this young lady right here. Super talented, awesome mother, working two jobs, killing it. And, man, if you haven't seen her before pictures, something that I want you guys to go research, Alvin, go find her before pictures, because she's made a huge transformation. So, why don't you tell them about your transformation? Alright, so the day I went to the gym is the day I met Glenn. Well, no, I've met him before during photo shoot, but that's when I actually sat down with him. And he asked me, one out of ten, how dedicated are you to start uh, your journey? And I was like, ten. <laughs> um, I started at 215 pounds, and today um, I've lost over 50 pounds. Thanks, Ted. He literally held my hand, like starting. Like I had no balance. He did like the overhead squat with me, you know, the assessment and everything. But the one of the first questions he asked me was, what is your why? And that stuck to me to know. And that's how I'm still going, trying to do this fitness thing. And still improving. I'm not there yet. I have a lot of work to do. But thanks to him, I'm, you know, 50, 50 or more pounds lighter. Obviously. <laughs> She just put a picture on Facebook and it was like her coming out party, quads looking on fleek, everything. And if you guys don't know how hard it is to work two jobs and have three kids, right? Three kids and a social life, it's ridiculously difficult to stay fit. But you have to, I mean, because at the end of the day, your kids need to be healthy, right? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, tell me a little bit about how inspired they've been. Your oh my goodness, my kids, they love it, you know, I can't tell you enough, like if you follow me and stuff, you'll see my kids doing push-ups, they'll be running, my daughter, I've done boot camp at 6.30 a.m., my daughter, my son, they all want to want to go, it's super early, but they're, they're motivating me, like they want to go and support me too, and I'm like, okay, so, you know, my kids have been awesome with this journey, they've been like right next to me. And they're, you know, a lot more active now, too. So. How does it make you feel when, like, you get 100 and, like, 200 likes on your photo? And everyone's like, oh, my God, you did the album. That's so amazing. You're an inspiration. Like, how does that make you feel? It's crazy because it takes a lot for me to post something of myself. Like, before, sh before I started, like, I had no pictures of myself. Like, I had my profile picture from seven years ago. Like, I didn't do any selfies, none of that. But as the months go on, like, I've been posting here and there. I'm like, Glenn. <laughs> and then just recently, like, I've posted some pictures of me, um, you know, trying to love myself more, be in front of the camera because I'm always right there behind it. So I'm just trying to, I'm st now starting to love myself and um, get more comfortable. So, wait, you just now starting to love yourself? Yeah. Let me ask you, when you first came to the gym, that first time, Go back, close your eyes. You first came in and I saw you and I was like, oh yeah, that's an thing. we did the photo shoot together. No matter what it takes, you help her out. She helped me out, like, she helped basically gave me my whole career. It's awesome, so thank you for that. But, did you not love yourself then? No. Why not? I did not, I was not happy. Um, no, I always had a smile on my face. Like if you know me, I'm always happy and I always try to giggle, but inside I was not feeling myself. Growing up I was athletic, I did swimming, water polo, and right after my babies I just gained like nine years of pain and I did not fully like them. So. <laughs> And that's how I was. I always smiled. Um, I'm a photographer. I meet people. But every single time, I'll be in my car. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I did not look good. Like, I did not look, I did not feel like this. Well, let me ask you. Since you love yourself now, you've got an audience now. What can you tell someone that doesn't love themselves? Just like you used to not. As they're your best, like, how to on how to love yourself. Do the change. Get up and just do it. If you don't like what you're doing now, just, you know, there's no perfect time to start. Just, I didn't, you know, I just really got up that day and be like, I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> and 
you know, the moment I talked to you, I was like, I'm going to give it my all. And I did. And I haven't stopped. So, I'm still going. Alright. I'm you. So proud. Thank you. That's it. That's <sighs>